Hi everyone, it's Al. Today's job. Um, it's a lovely day, so I've decided today's the day to fit this all in. Uh, this is made by a firm called Primrose, um, and it's 3.5 meter one I've got here. Um, I have all the brackets to install it here. Um, I'm going to show you how to fit this thing up on the wall, uh, the right anchors and the right drill bits, etc. Get it up and get it leveled out. Uh, it's going to go up on my wall there, above the patio doors, which I expect is where most people would want one. And if you've got a sunny back garden like I have, it faces south and uh, gets quite a lot of heat. We do need a shade here. So without further ado, we'll get on. The next step um, is to get your bracket and work out where you're going to have it up on the wall. Okay, do a nice straight line right away along the wall, the length of your awning. Okay, a laser level is also very good for this part of the job. Okay, everyone, I've marked up my three brackets for this particular size because it's a 3.5. Um, if it's only uh, three or less, you've only got two brackets to put up, okay, so it's not quite so bad. Now, onto fixing the actual brackets themselves is very important. Um, obviously, you want a solid brick or, like mine, a solid um, construction wall uh, to fix these two. So, make sure you have got something solid you're going to. Wood is not good enough, okay? Uh, you really have got to have something quite substantial for this. Now, obviously, you know, we're fitting these, these bolts here. Now, I've done a little drawing there for you how this is going to go. I've got the instructions off the site, um, and it's a 12 or 40 millimeter drill bit, uh, and it's got to go in at least 90 millimeters into the wall okay and these are the bolts to go in all right so it says a 12 bit or a 14 mil drill bit uh, and there's a the difference in the sizes i'm going to try the 12 first it looks too small to me uh, but i can always open it up with a 14 and i'll let you know we'll try that next and it turns out to be the uh, 14 mil that is the one okay not the uh, 12 um, and what i've done is because it wants to go in 90 millimeters I've, I've measured it and put a piece of tape so that i know the depth uh, I'll just show you, see there, I put that tape measure up there and it, it's 90 millimeter. But I put a bit of tape there, we know not to go any further than that depth there. A 17 mil spanner, um, just tightening your bolts now. Just tap them in the wall, okay, and then just tighten them up. I use a 17 mil spanner I've got here, but you can use a socket set. It's entirely, uh, entirely your choice. And just tighten them up until they can go no more. Now this one, I've tightened them up already. It won't go anymore, it's right up. And all we've got to do then is undo the nut. And this will be um, the bolt that attaches to the awning. Okay, so we take that off of there. We'll remove one of the washers and leave the back one on, uh, as it says in the instructions. Uh, and then we'll stick that on. So this is all you do now, and do this to all six bolts if you're doing a 3.5 meter. Obviously, if you're doing the three or less, you only got to do two of these brackets. Right, just before um, we go go for hanging a blind, I will show you the rest of this bracket. Um, I like the long part of the bracket, the hole at the bottom, so I can move it around like so. I'm uh, getting to make sure it's dead level. But once you tighten these up, you can just undo these in with your fingers. Okay, take the nut off. Okay, the nut off the bottom one. Don't drop it like I've just done. Uh, and just take the Sir, clip washer off as it says on the instructions and put the bolt on there. Okay, get it on, put the sir, clip washer back, and the same with the bottom, and then do your nuts up. You might find it easier with a box spanner, uh, but I still prefer the open ender um, myself, but that's what I prefer. That's down to you. Okay, I'll just get the nut I've dropped and put that on the top, tighten it up, and we're ready for the blind. Tightener in uh, and it's ready for the sunshade now in a minute that it's going to go into this bracket and we're going to drop a bolt through the top and we'll show you in a minute and we need two people for that you need one each end okay I still prefer to tighten this up for spanner but you can use a box spanner if you prefer okay so tighten the top and the bottom one uh, and then we're going to a bit tight for spanner so if it's easy with a box spanner over the top you know use that but, um, I'm okay with this okay we'll move on to the, the lifting of the blind just one thing I want to show you before we um, go lifting the blind and if I pull away from this bracket you'll see that there's my other bolt up there and one thing that is not in the uh, instructions for this online is that there is a head distance um, it's not given I just assumed it would bolt straight on there and come out um, but it doesn't it needs so much headroom silly Billy but there you go I don't want you to make the same mistake as me um, so I've had to drop bolt and drop it down I've used one of the holes uh, and I had to put fresh bolts in there now
One more thing before it goes up, um, just make sure it's up the right way. Don't do what I did and put it around slightly the wrong way. That is the way, okay, that it has to go. That bar straight up into the, the, um, the connectors you've got up on the wall on the supports. Okay, that's it, just give it a lift down so you can see that down. that hangs down, all right. Put your bolt in. Yeah, put your bolt in. Yeah. From the bottom upwards. We've got a middle one, so we've got this one to do as well. So you can see, there are the bolts there that we've just put in, okay? And they lock the bar back so that now when we tighten this up, it will be securely in place. Okay, last bit now, just tighten it in place. Ready for action. There she goes. <laughs> we need some shade now, we've got a bit of sun. Now let's get some nice shade in. You can see she's got a nice long reach. Goes out a nice long way. We'll take it right out so you can see it. And there we have it. Looking quite nice. And the arms are meant to be slightly in like that. Uh, it says on the diagram, so have it slightly, and that keeps it tall. Otherwise, if you go too far, um, it will just collapse like that. You don't have it like that, you put it back a bit and keep it nice and tall. Uh, the adjusters for adjusting the drop um, is on those two bolts there. You see them? Um, on those bolts here, you can lower that down so the angle is, is more steep, or you can take it back. I've left it at a factory setting, what I prefer. That's it, how to fit an awning. <laughs> And cheap, only £109 for saying this quality I think is a good buy. You can buy it from my site, I will have it listed there as well if you want to buy it from there. Thanks very much for watching, Derrick and 33.